welcome back to another reading and the song I channeled for you today was by Ray and it's called Escapism. So I'm getting Ray is significant in this reading so you may be called Ray or you're dealing with someone called Ray or has Ray in their name I'm picking that up strong. I feel an energy here because I just heard that song, I'm not sure who sings it, but it's like a dance hall tune and it's like, you ready? You're not ready. You ready? You're not ready. So one minute you're ready to, you know, give something up here. I feel like it's an energy of some sort of addiction where you sort of self-medicate. I'm getting an energy of you trying to escape from you know, a, a feeling, it's a feeling when like, for example, you've broken up with someone, because I'm hearing broke bitch energy, but I'm not feeling like you're broke when it comes to material or money, I feel like you're broke when it comes to, you know, an ex-person leaving you, I'm hearing left you out in the cold energy, and I feel like you keep going from one thing to another to escape, so you could be addicted to sex. I'm picking that up strong. I feel the like energy of someone who's having a lot of one night stand energies or short term relationships. I've also got an energy of drugs because I heard that in the song, something about sniffing cocaine with your friends. So I feel the like energy of you just partying hard and you're taking substances. I'm hearing substance abuse, but I feel like you're doing that to escape from your pain because you have some sort of internal pain that you're suppressing here i feel the energy of you going from one person to another i'm feeling like pillar to post energy like you always have to have a motive always have to have something to do to keep yourself busy or occupied i'm hearing when did you last stop when did you last take a break when did you last go within when did you last sit down and meditate when did you last just sit down with yourself that's what I'm hearing here so there's definitely no self-reflection here and I feel an energy of you waking up one day like really ill because you've taken some form of substances this could be cocaine alcohol other drugs I'm seeing a cocktail of things that you're doing here and I feel an energy of sleeping around you could be catching STDs I'm seeing that as well or you you're just carrying, I'm hearing transmitting sexual entities as well. So this could be like you're carrying spiritual STDs because you're having so many different partners. You're sort of, you know, attaching sort of bad energies to you bad entities i've got an energy of you sleeping with same sex and the opposite sex too so it's whoever you end up in in bed with i feel that energy that you're starting to get sick or this could be some sort of calm down energy where you're sort of begging god to save you because you feel like you're gonna die i'm hearing that as well so you could have had an overdose recently or you could just feel like you know like complete shit the next day I'm seeing that as well whatever this addiction could be I definitely feel like you're going from pillar to post but you're waking up ill and you know you need some sort of help so you might be begging God for you know help to stop this addiction because look at this card it's called thirst and this sort of craving energy that you're compulsively sort of doing here is in reverse so you're definitely not self-reflecting you're asking god for help but you're not you know making those changes you're continuing to do this sort of abuse to yourself i'm hearing self-destruction self-abuse I feel like you're just completely hurting yourself because you're hurt. Hearing hurt people hurt people. But I feel like you're destroying or harming or hurting yourself because, you know, you suppress the feelings of this past person, what they did to you. I'm hearing the misery. So you don't want to feel miserable. You don't want to cry it out. You don't want to release what you're holding on to here. So you might be quite bitter quite sad 
you know, but you're just jumping from one situation to another. I feel like a very dramatic, chaotic energy here. You could be quite young and you know, you're like, it's me against the world energy. That's what I'm picking up as well. I definitely feel like you're partying a lot, but you know, it's a different sort of energy that you're attracting here because look at all these skeletons around you i feel like you've created so many sort of you know memories but the skeletons are all in the closet so you may not be remembering whatever you did here or you know you've just like i said you have many sort of demonic entity attachments because you're ending up sleeping with the wrong people who you know may have just lusted over you or slept with you because they met you in a club sort of energy i see someone who dresses like this on a night out you know you attract a lot of male attention and female i'm hearing both here so you're definitely in an energy of being bisexual but i feel like you know this is all a secret like you know you have many skeletons in your closet right now you may not remember half of this shit or you may wake up next to someone that you don't even know and you can't believe it and you're sort of asking god for forgiveness here yeah, i'm seeing that as well I feel like you've come from a place you know where you didn't ever do this in your past or you know you haven't seen this before or you've seen this sort of life on social media i'm seeing a lot of that sort of energy and you're sort of copying that sort of you know i'm here let loose i'm here freaky gal here so i definitely feel like you're watching the wrong people or connecting with the wrong people who are sort of in that same energy i'm here playing the fiddle energy so you're definitely not committing to no one ever again sort of vibe here but i feel like there's more for you in life I feel like, you know, it's time to master those challenges. It's time to want to improve. It's time to improve because I feel like your health is starting to suffer here. I feel like you're very pale in the morning. You may look ill. I'm seeing that a lot here. I definitely feel like, you know, you keep trying to sort of elevate your life and then you end up around the wrong people who sort of drag you back down to to that level again so i definitely see the struggle here like you're struggling to actually overcome these addictions or you're struggling to keep that energy of wanting to improve and you keep sort of going back so there's some sort of internal struggle and I feel like it's those feelings that you're blocking I mean if you was to release them and set an intention of what you really want to see in your life or what you want to achieve you might start to you know climb back up that ladder you might start to want to achieve a goal at a time and sort of you know retrain your brain I'm hearing or retrain your mind or you know just work on your heart because I feel like a lot of feelings have affected your heart and your decisions are like not coming from that heart center they're not coming from the right place here I definitely feel like the more you practice this self-love energy the more you practice you know whatever it is you want to achieve here you'll start to see like good things coming through for you i definitely see you know an angel or some form of protection near you this could be a passed on loved one or this could just be that you have a spirit animal who's trying to protect you i'm hearing ward off evil because i feel like you're attracting a lot of evil entities or you're carrying evil entities so there's an energy of needing to cleanse your aura cleanse your energy cleanse yourself from within i'm hearing Reiki, Zen Reiki could help you to clear those demons and then you could start fresh, that's what I'm hearing, I definitely feel like that attunement could really help you, at the same time you know
know you could help yourself and work on your inner self, your inner peace. Seeing heavy root chakra energy and heavy throat chakra energy. So, you know, why do you attract these people? Do some sort of shadow work so that you attract better people into your life with a sort of better aura. I'm seeing a vision of someone, you know, who goes deep within, who heals their self before they put their self back out there so that could have been how you used to be so you need to start practicing that again that's what I'm picking up on here is self-reflection again and I'm definitely seeing the energy of you needing to speak your truth or at least release the truth to the universe I'm picking up you know release this person to God like talk to God talk to your angels talk to your past on loved ones you could you know meditate and release this energy that's stuck or stagnant or you could start working on your chakras to heal yourself i definitely feel like you need to speak out with the throat chakra energy though but i definitely feel like the more you practice you know stopping this sort of you know non-stop chaotic sort of lifestyle you know you will start to see a better sort of reflection in the mirror a better sort of life or a better sort of ending to what you actually went through here that you're suppressing i'm hearing you know it's not good to just move on straight away you know sometimes you need that time out to sort of heal or self-reflect or work on you so i definitely feel like staying single single staying solo staying abundant is important for you right now because i definitely feel like you know this sort of seductive energy this you know this vibe that you're emitting here is putting your energy into an energy of manipulation and a lot of people desire you because of your you know your sexual sort of energy that you're putting out but they're not sort of you know attracted to you because of your mind or because of your position or where you're going in life people just want you know a quick one or a one night stand sort of energy Energy with you so no one's taking you serious or you could just be getting manipulated with this seduction by people that you know you end up being in the wrong sort of situations with like you know the same sex when you wasn't like that before at the same time I definitely see heavy protection so you do come from a big sort of bloodline that's what I'm picking up as well here in past life energy and I'm definitely seeing ancient Egypt here so you definitely you know you've come to the earth for a reason and you should be heading towards your life purpose right now being guided by your angels and guides but I feel the energy of you not listening or you not sort of being on the right track right now but I feel like you know this sort of detox or this sort of rehab that you know could help Help you you know would benefit your life and you would step into an energy of your sort of ancient ancestry sort of inheritance here I definitely see you're wearing a mask most of the time. I'm hearing playing a tune or playing the fiddle. So around people, this could be at work or work settings. You act like, you know, your normal self. And as soon as you sort of leave this environment, you sort of let rip. That's what I'm picking up here. And you start to sort of, you know... I'm seeing someone who barely wears any clothes. You, you sort of, you know, you like to sort of show yourself or show your skin quite a lot. And that's why you're attracting these sort of demonic energies. You may have lost your faith. You definitely do not trust no one. And I heard that in the song, you don't even trust your friends. So you definitely sort of locked up or blocked up your chakras here. I'm seeing throat chakra, heart chakra is blocked 
out that's what i'm picking up so it's time to open cleanse align activate those chakras so that you can begin you know trusting again you can begin to have faith in the most high and your journey and the lessons you learn and what you was taught so that you can elevate from that 